Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upload videos to YouTube with Premiere Pro. In this tutorial, we'll go over Premiere Pro YouTube settings for uploading regular videos as well as shorts. And before we get started, I'm going to ask for one small favor from you guys, which is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. It does take me several hours to put these videos together, so a simple like does help the channel quite a bit. All right. So here I have my basic video open. Now, the first thing you want to do is pause the video and in the upper left corner, go to file, export and media. Now on the video preset screen, we're going to use a video template, which is a preset you can use to upload it to Twitter, Facebook and all of those things. But first in this video format drop down, make sure you select H264. Now go to the presets drop down over here and here you have a bunch of presets. The first five options here will match the settings of the video you're working with, which is the source video. These options will just give you different bit rate. Now also here you have quick expert settings for uploading videos to Facebook. Then you have a set of options for high quality videos, which is the highest quality possible. You also have mobile device exports, Twitter, VR or virtual reality. And at the bottom here, you have your YouTube presets, which is what we're looking for in this tutorial. Now, if you actually have a 4K resolution video, I recommend choosing the last option. Now, if your video is not actually 4K, the output will be stretched to 4K resolution, which is not always what you want to do. So be careful there. Now here you have two checkboxes which allow you to control whether you want to export the video, which you probably do. So keep that checked. And here you also have an option to export audio or just keep your video silent. Okay. So we're done with those settings for now. Now here on the basic video settings, you can actually change your 4k resolution that we selected previously by clicking on video width and pretty much typing any value that you want. This will also automatically scale the height of the video as well and still preserve the original ratio. Now also here you can choose your encoding settings and it's just a drop down and usually I keep mine at high. So with our export settings ready, just click on the export button and your file will be saved to the hard drive. Now, one other thing you might want to do is click on the link here to change the name of your file using keywords in the file name might help with the search results on YouTube. And while this doesn't guarantee number one spot on search engine results on YouTube, this still might help your video rank better for those keywords. Now in the next step, we're actually going to upload the video we just saved to your YouTube channel. So go ahead and open your browser and navigate to your YouTube channel. Then in the upper right corner, click on create, then click on upload videos. Then here, click select files. Now here in Windows File Explorer or Finder on the Mac, locate your file and go ahead and click on the open button. Now at this point, YouTube will start uploading your video and here you can enter your video title and description, wait for the file to finish uploading and processing. And at that point, your video should start showing up live on your channel. Now in this next part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Premiere Pro to create shorts by changing your sequence resolution. A sequence in Premiere Pro is where you have all your clips, layers and objects that make up your entire video project. Sequence settings allow you to change your video's viewport. And in order to create a shorts format in Premiere Pro, what you want to do is go to sequence and go to sequence settings. So here on this box, what you want to do is reverse the height and width of your video. So here we have 1920 and 1080. So you want to replace that and here type 1080 in the first box and in the second 1920. So this will give you the nine to 16 ratio 
And if you click OK, you will see your sequence actually change. And then all you have to do is just simply go through the same process of exporting the video as shown previously in this tutorial. Just when you save and upload this video to YouTube, don't forget to add the shorts hashtag to the description of your video. Okay guys, so basically this is how you use YouTube presets and sequences to publish videos to YouTube in Premiere Pro.